Hi there, I'm Danny Flexen and welcome to the Knockout Boxing Betting Guide here on Sportsbet TV. A lot of big action in the boxing world coming up this weekend, so let's get right to it. Um, the biggest of all takes place in Inglewood in California at the legendary Forum venue, where at the start of 2018, two super flyweights met in one of the best fights of last year. Um, Srisaket saw Rung Visaya from Thailand and one Francisco Estrada from Mexico clashed in a bout replete with both skill and will ended up in a majority decision um, in favour of the tie. But now they go at it again this Saturday. Big show at the forum, big rematch. They've both had two wins since. Um, Strisket, the physically stronger, uh, more productive, throws more shots. Estrada, the better boxer, no slouch in the work rate department himself either. First fight was a war. Second fight, the rematch expected to be just as much of a war. What you're thinking is, well, do I bet on Strisket again? It's a tricky one because, yeah, he was. it was a very close fight the first time round. Estrada may have learned more since. The momentum could be with either man. I would say that whoever your pick is in the fight, go for the method of victory odds if you want to extract some value. It's very unlikely to end inside the distance. They both unloaded the kitchen sink on each other the first time and didn't fall. So I would recommend that you bet on one or the other. Whoever you fancy winning to win by decision, and you should get some half-decent odds against. But the real value can be found lower down the card. Um, there's a WBA and IBF super bantamweight unification fight taking place between relative local in Danny Roman, the WBA champion, and TJ Dehaney, the Australia-based Irishman who holds the IBF title. Both won their world titles out in Japan against Japanese opposition, which is impressive in itself. Um, Dehaney's also won out in Thailand in the past. Um, it's a very, very intriguing match. Again, Roman, the better boxer, fighting at home or arguably the better boxer, I should say, fighting at home. Determined guy, stopped Gavin, Britain's Gavin McDonnell in his last fight. Dehaney, really, really impressive on his title run so far. Tends to get too involved, can get cut, but a tricky, awkward southpaw, bustling forward, never really stops going. They both like to come forward. That You might see Dehaney on his toes a little bit more with the intelligent pressure of Roman. Um, but Dehaney is certainly, in what most people would consider a 50-50 or close to fight, the Haney, I think, is available outright at around 11 to 2, which is mad odds. I mean, he packs a dig as well, and, and you know, his pressure fighting's good. I would, I'm not going to say he's definitely going to win, but 11 to 2, that value's too good to turn down. So the Haney's probably worth a bet in that one. We've also got the World Boxing Super Series semi finals. It's not easy to say. Um, this weekend, um, in Nanito Denaire is fighting in the bantamweight division against Zalani Tete. Tete's favoured both with the bookies and on this vlog um, so there's not a lot of value there and it, unfortunately it's the same in the other semi-final although Kirill Relic is a, a world champion going into the um, super lightweight semi-final and you know undeniably has a chance I would expect Regis Progray who's the betting favourite to come out on top in that one um, probably by a decision rather than a stoppage um, but again not a lot of value to be extracted from the WBSS plenty of value for viewers obviously it's a great tournament but not so much from the betting side of things so then we move on to Frank Warren's um, show on Saturday night at Wembley Arena You're not going to get a lot of value on Daniel Dubois to beat Richard Larty in the main event unless you want to you know tap on a once the round odds come out which they haven't yet a first or second round knockout I'd, I'd probably put some money on that maybe first three if they're if they're evens or better um, but slightly lower down the card although well saying that is that it's kind of a nominal main event as it's for a title but Lerone Richards, unbeaten super middleweight, goes up against Tommy Langford, former British middleweight champion, interim world title challenger, who recently moved up to the weight. Um, Langford's big. He's had a few hard fights already. Never packed a massive punch at middleweight, so it's hard to see how he'll suddenly develop one at super middle unless the weight making was really getting to him lower down. Lerone Richards is a slick, accomplished fighter, durable Big step up for him, no doubt, in class, um, but he is, he is the natural super middleweight in this fight. Hard to see him losing. Um, Langford, Langford's a good fighter. Neither of them pack a massive knockout blow. I would probably, the method of victory odds aren't out yet. Lerone Richards is, I think, currently 4-6 to six, um, to win outright. So when the method of victory odds come out, Lerone Richards to win on points, you would expect to be evens or better. So that's where I'd probably put my money on, on that fight. Um, watch it all. Um, but especially the, the big show in Inglewood, um, Srisaket against Estrada. I might not have been able to offer you great value on the betting side, but it's definitely worth watching, um, especially if you're either drowning your sorrows after um, TJ Dehaney didn't do the business or celebrating because he did. 
We'll be back next week with another knockout boxing betting guide. Um, but I thank you for your time and I'll see you soon. Cheers.